As we've been talking about this this morning, it's going to be very cold and whenever the temperatures drop, more fires happen when people use space heaters. They are often placed too close to curtains or bedding and then can easily catch fire. So in the last hour of the morning show, we showed you how to use a fire extinguisher by remembering the pass method. P-A-S. Pull the pin to break the seal Aim the nozzle at the base of the fire while standing about eight feet from it. Squeeze the handle slowly and evenly, and then sweep from side to side until the fire is completely out. Now we want to tell you how to make sure your fire extinguisher is ready before an emergency happens. To be sure your fire extinguisher will work when you need it, first make sure it has not been recalled. Go online to saferproducts.gov to check the model number. If you have a recalled fire extinguisher, contact the company to have it replaced as soon as possible. Consumer Reports says to make sure your fire extinguisher is where you'll need it, try and store it where you think a fire is most likely to occur, like the kitchen or the garage. Also, regularly check the dial on the pressure gauge. It should always be within the green zone. And while you're at it, check the manufacture date on your extinguisher. If it's older than 12 years, replace it. Read the instructions and familiarize yourself with your fire extinguisher before there's an emergency. You don't want the first time you ever handle it to be when there's an actual fire to put out. That's true. So three other things to remember. First, JFRD says if there is a fire, you want to call 911 first before you try to put it out on your own. That way they are already on the way just in case. Second, fire extinguishers are designed for small fires. If you can't put out a fire yourself, get out of the house immediately and remain a safe distance outside while you wait for firefighters to arrive. Do not go back in. We've already seen locally in the last week the consequences of what can happen if you go back in. And third, have a working smoke detector. It can save your life. It will alert you and your family right away to smoke and give you and your family vital time to get out. You know, if you live in Duval County and you need a smoke detector, you can get one for free from the city and an expert will install it for you. All you need to do is call 630-CITY to make an appointment. This is for Jacksonville residents only.